things in our brain is what counts. Which means you have a purely subjective religion, which means you make your own religion, and which means you can do whatever you want, it'll be fine. That'd be nice. As Gilbert Keith Chesterton said, if I was not a Catholic, I would have a harem. <laughs> Believe me, I would. <laughs> so, uh, you, can, you see how absurd, you see the absurdity of things. We are living in agnostic sects founded by Vatican II, which our dear beloved present Pope calls the Second Pentecost. And I cannot say amen to that. I disagree with him, he's a heretic, I reject his teachings, I do not reject his papacy, I reject what he does in his papacy, and I reject what he says, period. Questions and answers. I think that question is on yesterday's tape, so I, I can answer briefly now. Uh, you must not go to the new mass, because the new mass is against the will of the church, against the will of God, it's against divine law. It is an illegal right, illicit. It's not only against divine law, it's against eternal law, too. Eternal law is first, then divine law as, an, as his own interpretation of his own eternal law, and then uh, positive law, natural law, and then positive law. It's against, it's against positive law, pronounced by Pius V, it's against the uh, natural law uh, as the tradition of the church, and it's against divine law as the dogma of the Council of Trent, and it's against eternal law, therefore. You cannot attend the Novus Ordo Mass unless you have to for social purposes, uh, like you did, and in this case you do not say amen, because amen does not mean all right, it's okay. Amen means yes, yes, yes. You can't say yes to the new Mass. The new Mass does not represent the Catholic faith, but uh, yesterday's conference, uh, I, can, I can give you more information on that later on. But now as the camera is running. Humanly speaking, zilch, zero, rien, nada, nix, nichts, gar nichts, nichevo, niente. Thank you. Humanly speaking, I, 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 God has to work a miracle, but I mean, I don't know if God will, want, will, will work a miracle. He might end the world. I don't know. I don't know. I ain't no prophet. I'm not judging people who do not know. You, you cannot commit a sin if you don't know. Sometimes ignorance is a sin, but not the thing you do because of ignorance. You what? I call it the nervous disorder. Very good, yeah. You should call it the nervous disorder. <laughs> I walk in with, without a chip on my shoulder and go out with a chip on my shoulder. It's a, absolutely, yeah. Right yeah. Well, it's a disorder, but we talked about that yesterday. Uh, is uh, everything I told you about Vatican II so crystal clear that there are no questions? I doubt that. Don't be afraid of asking a stupid question. Only the one who laughs about a stupid question is stupid. Well, um, I know that several cardinals were masons. Uh, I don't know about living cardinals. I have no information on that. I, I doubt there is no there, I doubt there is no mason among the cardinals, but I don't know how many. Uh, I know several cardinals were masons. There's no sense in naming names here. Most of them you won't know anyway. And uh, I know that the masons have uh, tried already in the last century to infiltrate the church, and they succeeded because. Pope Leo XIII's Secretary of State was a Mason, but this I have said in my first conference, you will have it on tape. And uh, as far as the infiltration of the church is concerned, I can give you an information which I did not mention, I forgot, uh, the day before yesterday. In, in the 1930s, Stalin started already to insert KGB agents into Western seminaries. And in 1974, NATO, in its annual report, not the report you could buy at the newspaper stand, but uh, uh, the report that fortunately I got to see, uh, estimated uh, uh, 3,000 KGB agents to be found among the Catholic hierarchy, that means priests and bishops. 3,000 KGB agents. NATO in 1974. 
Don't kill me if it was 76, but I think it was 74. Are they in the Vatican? Of course they're KGP agents in the Vatican. You think the KGP is stupid? The KGP is not the CIA, Christians in action. That's the field term for them. And uh, the infiltration must be deep down 